Ooh, what's up guys, it's AfroKid421, here with another Hookah review. Today, it should be no surprise if you guys watched my last video, um, I did not realize when I posted that video how late into the month of October it was, so I decided I better get my butt going and get on another Fumari review, since I promised like one or two a month. At least two, like minimum, I want to do for the guys, because... It's cool that they're doing that for me. Um, fill the awkward pauses, I will smoke. Um, today, the flavor is Fumari Spiced Chai. Um, honestly, it's kind of like the last one. I've never had um, a spiced chai before in my life. Um, I'm not the biggest coffee drinker you'll ever meet because I don't drink it fairly often but it's um like I honestly don't know what spice chai is I've had a few different spice chai flavors in the past at least one or two if I recall correctly and I've liked them it's I, I'm getting more into you know I'm getting I'm, I, I still smoke fruity all the time I can't say I'm getting away but like I'm starting to discover more of the the I guess the uh, different side of hookah when it comes to like different flavors that aren't like blank with mint, fruit with mint, fruit, blank, you know, mixed fruit, stuff like that. It's them kind of refining the palate maybe and getting to enjoy a little bit of everything. So I'm going to quit rambling and get on to the cut. This is going to be really hard to show, but it is your typical Fumori cut. Pretty, uh, pretty juicy in these little bags. Um, it's, uh, why not? I'll do the obligatory, grab a little bit, now you're not even going to be able to see that. Um, it's pretty natural in color, no dyes, as a lot of brands are getting away from that. Um, it's, as I said, fairly juicy, it's got the natural cut to it, pretty chopped leaves, not like finely cut, but pretty chopped up. Um, they actually stuff a lot in these 100 gram bags, it feels like, but uh, maybe that's just me, I don't know smell it's very sweet right off the bat and as somebody who's never had a spiced chai I don't know if they're supposed to be that sweet or not I feel like maybe it's supposed to be like a sweet savory kind of I don't know I've heard of chai tea and I know that's usually like pretty milky and stuff but um, I definitely get like hmm I, 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 I don't want to say what I'm about to say because I feel like it would turn some people away but I get like when I'm smelling it and smell only don't don't take this as like what I'm about to say is the taste um, the smell I get like a little tinge of like anise a little tinge of anise I get what I assume is you know spice chai um, it's however what whatever spice chai is and you know I want to compare one of these days Maybe make a follow-up. It seems fairly accurate because everyone's like, "Oh yeah, it's it, you know, it's got all this stuff in it," which I still don't know. But uh, smoking out of my purple Prometheus, uh, V two or something like that. I can't remember the version on this one. Um, old school H J funnel, three Fumari cube coals in the Apple on top Provost. Thunder Dark or Pro Hose, I think, maybe the Mid Hose or something like that it is. Got a B2 mouth tip on there just to kind of go with the color scheme I got going here. Um, water in the base is normal. It's been going 25, 30-ish minutes, my norm. Clouds are fantastic. As normal. Uh, I think I kind of under, I underpacked this a little bit, semi-dense fluff pack. Um, the taste, I like it. It's got the sweet to it. Um, it's not like overly sweet. And I, you know, I, I man, I wish I would have done my research for this one, but I don't know where to find spice chai or chai tea or anything in this damned city. I'm sure there's probably a special store 
or a cafe that specializes in this, but I honestly couldn't tell you because I don't get to travel around the city much after work and my weekends are pretty much spent cleaning and doing stuff like that, but it's got a nice creamy taste or feel to it almost. It's kind of hard. Like, I imagine it's what chai, spiced chai or chai tea or chai latte or whatever goes, you know, tastes like. Um, you know, it's one of those that definitely I would, if you're thinking about trying something, new, like getting out of your norm, it's maybe definitely worth a shot to try. I really enjoy this. Um, yeah, definitely. It's uh, You can go to fumari.com, buy it there. Mm, I think most of your main retailers you guys all know of sell Fumari. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, I know Hookah Shisha does, Five Star, Hookah John, I'm sure like Texas Hookah, Hookah Junkie, Hookah Heroes, all those places sell Fumari. Or you can buy right from the source in San Diego, which is pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, definitely give this one a shot. Go pick some up for yourself. Try it out. Buy a hundred. You don't gotta, you know, commit to the two fifty if you you're afraid of that, like I used to be. Now I buy everything two fifties pretty much, so it's you know, it is what it is. Once again, big shout out to Fumari. You guys are awesome for giving me the opportunities to do all this fun stuff again. So I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna let you guys get on with your day. I'm gonna go finish this delicious bowl. And then probably go to bed because I've worked a nine-hour day throwing wheel weights around. Yay, warehouse stuff. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Deuces.